so good morning everyone uh, i am bhupesh kumar singh uh, today i will uh, talk about the remaining to topics uh, that was not covered in the previous session due to a network issue so uh, i will uh, talk about all those topics today so uh, starting with uh, resize text uh, that's success criteria 1.4.4 resize text so what does resize text says is it helps low vision users mean low vision users can resize the text all these plain text contents and the text based controls like link text the buttons all the text based controls and the plain text contents those can be resized up to 200% without requiring the low vision user to use the windows magnifier as well as the zoom text software so when uh, so it, this aids low vision user who can't see small text so easily so what they do is those users they make use of browser zoom functionality to uh, to to view the uh, text based controls as well as the text in a larger magnified view so whenever you test this uh, 200% resize text feature so uh, when you uh, magnify when you apply browser zoom up to 200% you should make sure that there should not be any overlapping of contents there should not be any truncation of contents that uh, the contents should not get clipped and there should not be over overlapping of uh, div containers the container the contents should not come out of the div containers for example here on applying browser zoom up to 200% or on increasing the text size font text font size of the text twice the default size like if i if like if the default font size of the text is 16 pixels and if i set it to 32 pixels that is twice the size then you can see here one in one example this has come out of the div container and it is overlapping with the outside content here as you can see here it's obscuring other con other text on the page this is the overlapping issue the next issue is truncation part the same text has been truncated means we, uh, user cannot view the remaining part of the content inside this container because this has been uh, truncated and user uh, and there is no scroll bar provision also provided so that user can scroll only this section of the area to read the remaining part of the contents so this is a failure of resized text now uh, there is a long standing debate and that debate is still ongoing among the working group professionals like how to test 1.4.4 resized text see there are many uh, methods for example you can go to the uh, browser settings and for the default size no like here it's uh, the default font size is set as 16 px you can change it to 32 px here if you change it to 32 px and and if a low and if a low vision user opens any website then the settings that has been applied at the browser level or at the os level uh, the author no the developer of that website it should override it should override the author specified uh, text style properties like if if i'm uh, setting here 32 pixel twice the size or if i'm uh, uh, setting the uh, style properties according to the os settings then the then the, your website should uh, accept respect that uh, style properties which has been set by the user either at browser level or at the os level and the second you can do is you can simply per per perform scaling scaling means all of the contents whatever uh, what all uh, whatever you can see in the page all of these contents get scaled to 200 percent like if i simply uh, uh, apply zoom up to 200 percent all of the contents have been scaled not the text only but everything everything has been scaled this is the next method and the third method would be to and the third method is if you want to 
apply only uh, apply zoom only to the text or the text based control for example here i have see i have set here 32 pixels so all of the text no those have been set to 32 px size as you can see here it's double the default font size that has been set on this web page if i simply put it back to 16 px i will refresh it see it came back to 16 px that means this is an accessible at this point of time user can scale the font size twice the height and width so this is good so this is at this moment accessible but after uh, setting the zoom size no you have to check whether there is no overlapping truncation clipped cut off something uh, all that, all that uh, parameters you have to check so in order to uh, increase the zoom text size the third step i'm uh, letting you know press f10 key on firefox or safari on mac os if i press f10 here the firefox toolbar appears go to the view zoom expand zoom so, okay it's already selected zoom text only is already selected here okay now i will perform up to 200 percent see you see here see now only the text based control no only those are uh, only th uh, the size of the text based control has been increasing as per the zoom level set by the user so this is the other method and suppose uh, the, there are some restrictions in the website like it, it, the author the developer has not provided any like the website uh, like you cannot apply zoom to that particular website due to limitation of this it could be a limitation of the underlying atag software uh, that, that uh, underlying software so so it is the responsibility of the developer to provide the uh, increase in text size features on the website itself like for example in this website they have provided see font so just as an example so if you cannot uh, use the os settings or the browser settings or the scaling function like uh, simply uh, increasing the browser zoom by scaling up to 200 percent if none of these three methods work then the develop it's it is the responsibility of the developer to provide these controls on the website so like here they have provided on screen controls to increase the font size this is only used when there is a limitation between the os platform and the software which is used to develop the website or if you are using ie internet explorer software like that sorry browser okay now coming to our uh, okay and one more thing that many people get wrong is that uh, the, uh, people say at 200 percent zoom there should not be any horizontal scroll bar appearing but that's wrong because horizontal scroll bar can appear uh, on 200 percent zoom if it is appearing then that's not an issue okay now uh, coming coming to the reflow reflow part no reflow 1410 1.4.10 reflow the reflow is similar to the resize text except that in reflow we don't increase the text size we don't increase the size of the text or the text based control means we simply zoom up to 400 percent uh, just to see if there is any overlapping of content truncation clipping cutoff but in reflow no it's different from resize for example uh, for example this this bbc page okay so suppose i am a low vision user and i want to uh, resize this page up to 400 percent so i what i will do is i will uh, increase the zoom percentage up to 400 percent see as you can see here a lot of changes has been made here at 100 percent zoom level you can see in this banner region there is this list of links in the navigation region home news sport real work life so reflow says that a low vision user should be able to zoom your web web page up to 400 percent and when the zoom level reaches 400 percent 
you the entire content no this should be re reflowed reflowed into a single column so that user has to navigate the web page only in one direction in the vertical scrolling direction they don't have to use horizontal scroll bar i mean they don't have to use both the scroll bars simultaneously because because if see at this percentage uh, there is no scroll bar appearing because this is an accessible website but at 400 percent zoom if two scroll bars are appearing simultaneously then low vision users will have to make use of both these scroll bars side by side simultaneously to read the content from one end to the another so this is not an easy this is not easy for low vision users as per the research because uh, they have difficulty in tracking the contents because they have to simultaneously use both the scroll bars and it causes fatigue fatigue for them so what they have suggested is see in the all these links are visible now i will slowly increase the zoom percentage level see now all the navigation regions have been uh, ha are, are residing these all reside under hamburger menu see earlier you used you used to see here on the navigation uh, region now all have appeared under the hamburger menu see this is a 400 percent see no no horizontal scroll bar is appearing here so user has to make use of only vertical scroll bar to reach to read the content in a single column this is the reflow and to test the reflow there are two methods you can either set the windows desktop window sorry windows window size to 1280 CSS to 1280 pixels. After setting the display size to 1280 pixels, you can apply browser zoom up to 400%. So 400% at 1280 pixels is equivalent to a viewport size of 320 CSS pixels. You can either perform that method or you can simply inspect <laughs> in the developer tools. You can click on toggle device toolbar and on here you can set it has 320 CSS pixels here. So this is one of the ways to uh, test the reflow. And remember, on reflow, no, on reflow, horizontal scroll bar should not appear if it is a vertically scrolling content. If it is a horizontally scrolling content, then vertical scroll bar should not appear like that. And also, horizontal, and there is there are many exceptions as to where horizon, both scroll bars can appear simultaneously on maps like google maps you have seen many websites that contain iframe element the embedded maps that use third party services like apple maps google maps in that case in maps when you perform uh, when you apply a zoom up to 400 percent then in the map frame no uh, in that frame both scroll bars can appear and in data tables, in heavy complex data tables that contain multiple set of rows and columns, in that also horizontal scroll bar can appear on the data table to, to read and navigate individual cells. And in videos, in video players, horizontal scroll bar can come on games on, on and on rich text editor that contains a long list of toolbar. In that also horizontal scroll bar appear, can appear. That's not an issue. Okay. Now, coming to our next success criteria, that's 4.1.1, parsing. So what does parsing says is, uh, the parsing, no? Uh, when you are developing the website according to the HTML uh, programming languages, so we test the uh, conformance. We test the conformance of that website using the NU HTML valid, uh, validator, NU HTML checker so what uh, does this do is this scans your website and checks whether your website conforms to the original html specification pro programming language see the developers they do they do make mistakes while developing the websites so this html checker uh, checker catches those mistakes uh, it, it checks whether your website conforms to html specification or not now what are the list of issues uh, about the conformance issues those can be the parent child relationship is not appropriate like they have used a child element but its corresponding parent element is is not provided and the second issue could be 
deprecated deprecated outdated markup element has been used like blink blink is a deprecated markup that has been used in the web page uh, uh, deprecated mark, mark um, uh, elements should be avoided because it is no longer supported by majority of the browsers the third issue can be duplicate uh, id attributes has been used among multiple active elements now this could uh, duplicate id attributes do not pose any issue to screen reader users but it can pose some challenge when you use aria labeled by or a technique where we pass id attribute value as a string now if two active elements have the same id attribute value then screen reader will have will face difficulty on which uh, id they do have to point out because both the elements are having the same id attribute and there are many more like uh, inappropriate aria role has been used or inappropriate aria attribute has been used uh, there are many there are many i mean it's a vast it's a vast very vast topic so uh, what we can do is i will simply uh, test uh, I, i will show you and for example if i want to check the conformance of this uh, page no as per the html specification i will launch this website and i will select check by address and i will simply paste the, the link url and i will click on the button check okay as you can see here it has shown the results for this website now you uh, there are two types of uh, results error and mistake error is a is a genuine uh, mistake i mean it's a mistake error is a mistake uh, which needs to be uh, fixed and the other is the warning the other is the warning here warning do not pose any challenge to accessibility to usability to security to interoperability to maintainability they don't uh, uh, pose any challenge to these parameters so we can ignore them for the time now so i will hide all these warnings and i will simply uh, and we will simply go through the errors as you can see here there are around uh, 5 535 errors now this is a long list of errors see so i have already gone through this list and i have shortlisted a few of the errors that we can discuss so that our time gets saved okay so i have filtered out all the errors see there are many errors that are repetitive on many lines of code so i have discarded those and picked only the unique ones so as you can see here the first error says no space between attributes that means here there is no space provided in between these two attributes so this is an issue this is an error and here the next uh, the next violation says uh, attribute hidden hidden attribute is not allowed on element svg that means a hidden attribute no this has been used on the svg element which should not be the case which should not which should not be used the third one is that there is one anchor tag which is overridden by the aria role menu item when uh, uh, be wary of using aria roles because original tag is the native html tag is the anchor tag but you have overridden this with the aria role menu item but here the issue is it uh, this is the descendant role if this is the descendant role then the parent role no role menu bar or role menu is missing that's why it has it says this role does not contain or it is not owned by its own parent role menu bar or role menu this is an issue the third is attribute href href attribute here cannot be used why because this has been overridden by the role list item the fourth one is fifth one is element button the button tag is not allowed as a child element of unordered list here so the button tag is the descendant of this ul tag so here the parent child relationship is wrong the button cannot be a child of the ul here ul element here the sixth is bad value see 
in the HF attribute no, of the anchor tag, they have used this HTML uh, address URL. But the issue is, see, there are two white space here. Now on now many search engines and browsers, if, if you provide white space here, no, they will treat these two as two separate files. And either uh, it cannot be rendered on the browser or you may face uh, some error it will throw some error but modern browsers what they do is they will insert here unicode value percentage 20 here in in uh, in, in in place of the white spaces so uh, it says illegal character in the path segment space is not allowed here space is not allowed here and the seventh is duplicate id like i said it it doesn't pose any challenge to screen reader users but if this element is being referenced by aria label by to programmatically associate the on screen label with the text then that can pose problems to the screen reader here duplicate id this this has been used on multiple active elements so that should not be case if if there is one more element with the same id attribute you can modify this by putting any alphanumeric character like one two something like that just to uniquely differentiate them and the eighth one is similar that we have that i have explained role menu item does not have a parent element having role as menu bar or role menu and here duplicate attribute class has been used here this is the error violation and here placeholder should not be used why because here type is equal to hidden on type hidden you cannot use placeholder value placeholder attribute placeholder attribute can only be used when the type value is text search url tell for telephone email password or number this is uh, this issue has occurred on the form section form fields and here see the element div is missing one or more of the following attributes see they have put here all sorts of aria aria properties aria controls aria has pop up aria expanded state false but they have not provided here role role is missing here for this div element this is a custom uh, component that has been made using the aria properties and the div tag but role is missing here so screen reader will never announce the role here it will only announce the accessible name label or the properties and states but it will never announce the role here depending on the state you can provide here role equal to button i mean it, it it depends what type of element they want to create like that an aria label by attribute must point to an element in the same document here it says aria label by see aria label by they have used one two two id attribute values they have used here but the issue is one of these id attribute value points to an element which is present on some other document like it is that element is not present in this document it is present on some other document so there will there will be an issue in calling that element and in programmatically associating that element so these are the list of issues uh, passing issues with respect to aria html etc specifications okay and remember if, if there is an audio player no if if there is a video player example okay uh, video okay see this is a video player as you can see here oh Okay, this is a video player. See, in this video player, no, there are many issues. I will show here once the ad uh, goes away. See, as you can see here in this video player, there is rewind 10 seconds button, forward 10 seconds button, play button, 
volume button, mute, unmute, volume slider. There is the dim button. There is the share button, mini player, and full screen. That's all. Now, as you can see here, uh, spoken words. These two anchors are speaking something. That means audio content is present in this video, and they are speaking something. It means the, these are they are speaking some words. Now, that's the audio part of the content. Now, for people who are deaf or hard of hearing, they won't be able to hear the audio. No. I, uh, they won't be able to hear the audio, but they can see the visuals of this video. So here uh, we they need to provide captions, closed captions and open captions. Uh, with closed captions, you can either open or, or you can either show or hide the captions. And also there is a provision to um, to override to override the caption settings. Like you want the caption to be in blue color against white background. You want the caption to be uh, in in different font size, etc. So captions are not provided in this video play, which is a failure for uh, deaf users. And the second issue is uh, there is no uh, control to uh, to uh, to set the uh, resolution of the video play. For example, if you are living in a town where internet internet is very slow and you want to see the video in a low resolution so as to save the internet due to slow internet network then there is no option here also so these are the issues and there might be many instances where uh, the news channel is showing some visuals but there is no equivalent audio for that visuals so this could be problematic for blind users because we as sighted non-disabled people we can see the building burning etc and all but the same has not been spoken out by one of these anchors so this needs to be uh, uh, this this needs to be explained in a separate audio that that's what we call audio description audio description is providing audio for all the all those visuals that do not have their equivalent audio content and audio description can be provided wherever there is a pause between the dialogue of two people talking okay and let me show you one accessible video play example. Okay, this is blocked right now. Okay. Okay. So suppose there is one audio only content. For example, there is one only audio player with no video play, no with no video based media. There is only audio player, like you have seen podcast, uh, where there is only audio content. So how will you make the audio con audio content accessible to deaf users or to deaf blind users? You provide a transcript. A transcript is a document which uh, which is a narration of all the spoken words between uh, that has been used in the podcast, and it could also contain it could also go beyond spoken words like uh, laughter. If there are two people la laughing in the podcast, then they can insert laughter in square brackets. And if there is any action being performed, something like that, then you can also include those in the transcript document. Now, transcript is a text-based document. So these can be manipulated by text spacing, bookmarklet. You can perform high contrast. You can zoom those text contents by low vision users. The deaf blind users, they can use refreshable braille display to read the transcript. And uh, and one uh, and there is one success criteria uh, bypass blocks so bypass block says that a mechanism should be provided see you can see here if i uh, this is a home page and this is the know your life insurance page see in the banner region this section is similar see in the home page it's all these links are appearing and in the know your insurance also same set of links are appearing means these the banner region and the footer landmark the contents present in them are repetitive so bypass block says that a mechanism should be provided for screen reader user as well as keyboard user to bypass these repetitive blocks see these repetitive blocks of elements that are repeated within the set of web pages here it is repeated here it is also repeated so how can we uh, go how, how can we navigate past this region to the main portion of the web page you can provide skip to main content link so i will also show you one good example okay 
as you can see here in this website no okay english okay as you can see here as i tap through the website see skip to main content has appeared so when i activate when i hit enter key on this link what if, it will bring my focus to the main vision content so i i will not have to press tab key multiple times to navigate past all these because i know these are all repetitive contents and i do not want to visit them i i i i want to move straight to the main vision so what i will do is i will simply press enter key on skip to main content see when i pressed enter key the link also changed to hash main and when i press tab key actually there is one issue of focus indicator on this website so i will show you one For example here see, skip to content it it says skip to when i activate this see now my focus has come here earlier my focus was here here if i press tab key after this no my focus will go here then here then i will have to press see multiple tab key to come here so in order to save my time i will simply hit enter key on skip to content link and my focus directly uh, comes here so this is a good example and this is a bad example why because let's see i am pressing tab key okay this is a focus indicator issue okay see i am pressing here tab key see now my focus has come here this is an issue though skip to main content is provided here that's good but it is provided at incorrect location because i i have to navigate past 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 to all the five links to navigate to skip to main content link so that defeats my purpose to use this link so this link should be located at here so that i can bypass all these repetitive contents also so this is an place that incorrect location and uh, and uh, um, and there are also many uh, issues related to forms and all uh, you have uh, seen issues many issues related to forms like if i come to contact us page okay so uh forms uh, okay let me uh, this is also a very vast topic see this is a form section so different methodolo methodologies and different success criteria are covered under this form section like if i hide this play, uh, policy policy number is a visual label it has been uh, label tag has been used here label html tag has been used here policy number policy number is a visual label if i hide this visual label and provide it as a placeholder text here so that's an issue because placeholder text no like here ddmmyy this is a placeholder text uh, placeholder text is not an equivalent to a label visual label why because when i type something here like oh if i type something here the policy number placeholder text gets disappeared it gets overridden by the typed input so placeholder text should not be used as a label it should be provided as a label in the label tag not as a placeholder attribute so that it is always visible whatever input i type here this will never get disappeared this one so this is a good example if if visual labels are not provided then that's a failure of 3.3.2 label or instruction now coming to the next part here as you can see here they, this is a good example why calendar widgets are very difficult to make it accessible they are very difficult 
not at all easy and the operation to operate these calendar widgets is also not easy because there are many things that needs to be taken care of we have to provide accessible name to this button to this this will be previous month button this will be next month button this will be a combo box and this these are all buttons role, uh, role button should be provided to them with the selected or current current state year role year should, uh, role button should be provided for all these with the selected or current state this is could be the next uh, 10 next 10 year button like that the best part is instead of going through the calendar widget and all you can simply they have provided an editable field edit field you you can also simply uh, type type your date and simply type your date here like this this is far better than using the calendar widget i'm not saying calendar widget cannot be made accessible it can be made accessible yes but this is far more convenient for users to simply type type the date that they want and here is the country code. As you can see here, this is the another failure. You have seen here red asterisk mark has been used here. As you have seen on many websites, this red asterisk ma, ma, sorry, red asterisk visual cue. These convey that all the form fields that have been marked as asterisk, these are mandatory to be filled. It means you cannot leave them as blank. These are required to be filled by the user. If I uh, activate suppose it button here uh, it could be a client side validation or service side uh, server side validation it will throw error that your country code is not appropriate your mobile number is blank your email is blank like that and uh, and these are the uh, radio buttons and these video buttons should be programmatically associated with their legend text and uh, that that is gender and these should the all these three should be grouped under the field set tag so when i press proceed here it says see these errors are provided in the text form which is a very good thing it says please enter the premium for the above policy to proceed please enter a valid email like that and there are uh, many more uh, like this is a good example like this error no it is meaningful so user can make use of this error message to correct their input errors so that the form can be submitted successfully. Please enter your mobile number. Please enter the premium for the policy or all, all like that. So this is a good example of uh, form. Also, I simply uh, turn on my NVDA. See, as you can see here, see, it says create your LIC account, policy number. They have used italic tag, I tag here. That's that's so wrong. I policy tag, tag, edit required, selected this. Now they have unnecessarily used here this uh, code snippet. As you can see here, Label tag has not been used here. Label tag. They have used here ARIA label. See, this ARIA label is wrong. See, create your LIC account. I policy I and tag. Now, a user who is not technically sound, he may get confused. What is this I? And create your LIC account. This is also uh, not required. Create your LIC. Why? Because the same text has already been provided here as a heading. So this should be removed. So the correct would be the correct ARIA label should be here. Okay. Now, if I come back to here, the policy it says policy number edit required selected there. It didn't read the other uh, text. Actually, this is also not the appropriate way to make this accessible. They have used here input and all sorts of ARIA attributes, which is not at all required. If you use simple HTML tags, no, like label tag, uh, this uh, inside the label tag, we will provide the value as policy number. And for this input, 
ID has already been provided. So in order to programmatically associate this visual label with this edit field, I will use for for attribute and pass the ID attribute value as this. So this is not a good example, to be honest. Ro they have overriding it by role text box and they have used tab index minus one. This is also very wrong. Tab index, uh, if you use tab index value greater than zero, that's an anti pattern. Because HTML by default is keyboard accessible. It is by default tab focusable. Even if I remove this tab index, no, it, it will still be accessible. But now they have used role is equal to text box. This input type has been overridden by the ARIA rule. So you have to provide the tab index, not one, but zero. If you provide tab index E, there are many, more, there are many uh, errors in this form. See, if I if I simply if I simply uh, move to the email, no, in the email they have provided tab index six. This is an anti pattern. It it disturbs the normal uh, focus order navigation uh, keyboard focus order. This is wrong. ARIA hidden false. This is also not required. ARIA label email ID is mandatory. Is mandatory is not uh, required because as to symbol is already provided here but they have not used here the label tag that's why they have written here as an aria label email id is mandatory so aria and value to all these are i mean not required at all so uh, this ends my uh, session uh, shweta uh, so I guess uh, we can start with the Q&A session.